Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name still remains at Denny K of Oniville TV. How is your Sunday going? Hope you are having an amazing Sunday. So today we are going to be preparing this almighty turkey vegetable rice. I call it almighty because each time I prepare this recipe, it's always tasty and everybody likes it. So come along, let's go into my kitchen and prepare this mouth watering recipe you're gonna love it today is sunday so it's something you can just prepare for your family and i tell you they are going to love it very very much so after eating our pot we're going to be adding granite oil to the pot inside the pot and let it eat Once it's hot enough, we add our turkey to the oil. We fry the turkey. We don't want it to be too brown. Just fry a little bit on both sides. So you fry it on both sides till you're okay with what you have then you flip to the other side and do the same thing you know turkey gets easily done so you don't want it to be too done before it's cooked you don't want it to be overcooked so just fry it not on too much heat Once you're okay with the consistency of what you have, we we'll had our minced ginger and garlic to eat. I will fry it for about 30 seconds. The next thing we'll be adding to the mixture to what we have in the pot will be our dried prawns add your dried prawns and fry about for about 45 seconds to one minute after that we are going to be adding our dried thyme After this, everything is already sasso sign. <laughs> your neighbors are already perceiving the odor of what you're cooking. Then you add your, uh, you add our um, seasoning powder to the mixture, to what we have in the pot. Then we add our salt. Don't add too much salt. Just a little bit of salt. Can you see it properly? Add scotch bonnet at our root dough. <laughs> I always add to add half of it to eat at this point and leave the remaining half to later. Then we had our parboiled rice. After adding the parboiled rice, you stir fry for about three to five minutes. You have to keep um, stirring it because you don't want the rice to get burnt. So you stir fry for about three to five minutes. You keep turning till you're okay with it, and you had our um. After once we are okay with um with what we have, once it's fried, you've stir fried it, and you're okay with it. The next thing we are going to be adding is our turkey and chicken spice. You add the turkey and chicken spice. Stir properly. Add soy and oyster sauce to it. And sesame oil. 
You have to send me your oil to it. And you keep stir frying for about three minutes again. You have to keep searing it. You have to keep turning it. You don't want it to get burnt. So you have to keep stir frying it. After this, we add enough water to cook. You had enough water to cook. You don't want the rice to be too soft. So you had enough water to cook. You mix it so everything goes in well. The salt goes in. The seasoning powder goes in. Everything we put goes to the right place. So we have to stir it. Once it's well stirred, we cover it to cook. So we can go and do some other things. I will be back very soon. So we are back. Our rice is cooked. It's properly done. We're going to be adding the remaining scotch bonnet to it. Then our chopped um, bell peppers, green, yellow, and red bell peppers. Then you had our, um, our other vegetables, the carrots, the green peas, the green beans, and spring onions. Then we turn it properly. We mix it well. So at this point, you don't need too much heat. You have to cook it on low heat because it's almost done. But if you like your vegetables crunchy, you can put up the fire at this point and cover it. But if you to steam, but if you want it very soft, you have to put it on low heat and cook. So that's it, guys. Till next time we meet again. If you if you enjoyed this channel, uh, this video, don't forget to click a like button and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Till the next time we see. <laughs> Enjoy your Sunday. I love you guys. Please make sure you prepare this recipe for your family. They are going to love it. Everybody loves this recipe. Try to prepare it for your family. And hmm, I'm very sure if you prepare this, eh, our dad is going to give you a, mouth, a very good gift. So that's it, guys. We are done. See you next time. Bye.